Hey guys, I'm Steve Dedane, and I bet you can't play this, but you might be able to after the video, so check it out. Okay guys, so with this look, what I want to go over were a few things. Um, first we'll go over the technique and we'll go over the theory as well. So before we get started, uh, just keep in mind I'm down a half step. So I'm on a seven string, I'm not using the low B. For all intents and purposes, I'm in E flat standard. Uh, and for all theory, we'll talk about this as if it wasn't standard tuning. So technically with this lick, what I want to go over was a lot of alternate picking. We have some string skipping as well. So we'll work on a lot of right hand stuff. Um, and for the theory, um, this is going to touch on something that I like to do as a guitar player, primarily as a progressive metal player. I like to play over changes a lot, not necessarily in the jazz sense, but I like to bring out a lot of the chord tones and whatever I'm playing over. So in this style of music, you'll hear a lot of seconds, ninths, maybe some elevenths and other chord extensions, and we'll go over that. The other thing is when we're playing over these changes, we're not just playing over them um, in major or minor seconds up and down scales or maybe up and down arpeggios. There's nothing wrong with that, but it's just a different way maybe you can use in your own playing. So you'll see that we're going to go over this chord progression in a variety of ways. First way, we'll start with some triads. We'll go over um, in groups of three, groups of four, etc. So we'll be revisiting a lot of these. So the lick mainly starts out um, going up a scale and D minor, so we start with G minor to A minor to B flat and to C. Most of these are in the key, um, and after that, we basically go to a G7 sus2, which isn't in the key, but it has a, a cool outside sound. Um, so we take playing over these four chords and we just do variations on them. So from here, instead of playing them in triads, we'll play them in arpeggios, but we'll do them in string skipping. So going back to the G and then to uh, C major. And that last four notes there were just some passing tones in D minor. We're here, we'll go from B flat with some passing tones in F major. And after this, we have a very common chord in arpeggio. You'll see a lot in progressive metal music, but also a lot of fusion guys use this. This is a G minor add nine chord. So we do play the arpeggio, and we also add a lot in uh, those chord extensions as well. So I'll play that for you. And right after this, this is an alternate picking string skipping part. We're right back to where we started. So these fast licks here. Um, you can also use these to play over the same chords we just played over. So G minor, A minor, B flat. We're going to do the same thing, but we're playing over them in a different way. So I'll play those slowly for you right now. And after that, instead of playing over C major, um, I substitute that for G sus2. Again, this is another common arpeggio and a common sound you'll hear. You get a lot of mileage out of this shape as well, which sounds like this. And we basically end the lick with that same sort of four note motif we're playing before, and we're just going up the scale to end on the high F. So what I hope you guys get from this is just a, just a different way to play over chords. I find this adds a little bit more mature sound to your playing, and it gives a little bit more direction if you're bringing out what the rest of the band is playing. So give this a go. I love to see what you guys come up with. If you have any questions, I'll leave them in the comments below. I'll do my best to get around to them, and I love to see what you guys come up with. All right, so uh, until next time, I'm Steve Dedane signing out. Thanks for watching.